The South Atlantic Anomaly, a portal to the parallel universe. The South Atlantic Anomaly refers back to the area in which the Earth's internal Van Allen radiation belt comes closest to the Earth's surface. The South Atlantic Magnetic Anomaly, or AMAS, or SAA, South Atlantic Anomaly, is the region where the innermost part of the Van Allen belt has the closest approach, approach approximation to the Earth's surface. And as a result, is that at a given altitude, the radiation intensity is higher in this region than in any other part of the Earth. The AMAS is produced by a dip in the Earth's magnetic field in this region, caused by the fact that the center of the Earth's magnetic field is displaced relative to the geographic center by about 450 kilometers. The South Atlantic anomaly reflects and affects satellites and other spacecraft with orbits a few hundred kilometers high and with orbit inclinations between 35 and 60 degrees. In these orbits, the satellites periodically pass through the AMAS, being exposed for several minutes to the strong radiation that exists there. The International Space Station orbits at the slope of 51.6 degrees, which means that it passes through this, required a special coating to deal with this problem. The Hubble Space Telescope makes no observations while passing through this region. It affects, as we said, satellites and humans inside, like the International Space Station. Light flashes through, thought to be produced by radiation, thought to be by, produced by radiation directly stimulating the retina of astronauts, are reportedly more common when they are flying through the zone. As the anomaly is due to the Earth's magnetic field, it's, it's always moving, including several complete reversals it probably danced around the planet for the past billion years. It's curious, indeed, that such a special area would even exist. And right now, it's over Brazil. It's Brazilian. Researchers build magnetic observatories in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. A new Danish observatory on a remote island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean will provide researchers with new knowledge about the mysterious irregularity of the Earth's magnetic field, known as the South Atlantic Anomaly. Observ observatory is a partnership between the Danish Meteorological Institute and the Danish National Space Institute. Air France 447 electrical problems in the South Atlantic Anomaly. June 4, 2009 article, the Bermuda Triangle and missing aircraft may seem like science fiction, but there is a well-documented region off the coast of Brazil containing highly charged particles, the area known as the South Atlantic Anomaly, and is avoided at all costs by orbiting satellites. NASA satellites that do travel in the region are shut down or go into a safe mode to avoid damage while passing over the Atlantic Brazil, between Brazil and Africa for this reason. So the South Atlantic Anomaly could be a portal to a parallel universe. Black holes are objects we stumble upon in space. They may not be simply mysterious and really fascinating to astronomers, but also noticeably, they are a powerful force. The black hole is a place in an area wherein gravity pulls a lot that even light can't get out. That's how strong they are. The gravity is so sturdy due to the fact that matter has been squeezed right into a tiny space and it could uh, occur while a star is dying. Because no light can get out, people can't see these black holes, they're invisible. And the purpose why we can realize black holes exist, ex they, they are, uh, their existence is due to the fact that space telescopes with special gear can help discover black holes. The unique tools can see how stars, which might be very near black holes, act in another way than different stars. So what is the connection between black holes and the South Atlantic Anomaly. The South Atlantic Anomaly, the SAA, refers back to the region in which the Earth's inter internal Van Allen belt comes closest to the Earth's surface, resulting in an accelerated flux of active particles in this location and exposes orbiting satellites 
to better than standard degrees of radiation. The effect is a result of the non-concentricity of the Earth and its magnetic dipole, and the SAA is the closest to Earth place wherein the Earth's magnetic discipline is the weakest. The shape of the SAA modification happens over the years. The South Atlantic anomaly is of exquisite significance to astronomical satellites and different spacecraft that orbit the Earth at several hundred kilometers. As described in the ERA Overviews article, quote, the vortices which can shape the turbulent water are an acquainted sight. Edgar Allan Poe describes simply the sort of whirlpool in his short tale, A Descent Right into the Maelstrom, which he posted in 1841. Quote, the brink of the world turned into, represented via a large belt of sparkling spray. However, no particle of this slipped into the mouth of an awesome funnel. Unquote. In this passage, Poe describes one of the important functions of those rotating bodies of fluid that they may be idea of a, the idea of a coherent island in an incoherent drift. And as such, they're essentially unbiased of their surroundings, surrounded by an apparently impenetrable boundary and with little, if any, of the fluid inner them leaking out. And in case you're wondering that this description has a passing resemblance to a black hole, you are right. Haller and Boren Vera positioned this similarity to a proper footing by way of describing the behavior of vortices in turbulent fluids using the identical mathematics that describe black holes. Haller and Bohr Vera cross on to show that each vortex boundary in a turbulent fluid includes a singularity, much like an astrophysical black hole, that has crucial implications for the look at of fluids and the identification of vortices, which might be otherwise problematic to outline and notice. And in this case, it's a simple question of looking for the singularity and the boundary that surrounds it. And that's exactly what Haller and Borvera have done in the pattern of the currents in the Southwest Indian Ocean and South Atlantic. We know a phenomenon in this part of the world is called the Agulhas leakage, which comes from the Agulhas current in the Indian Ocean. At the end of its southward flow, this boundary current turns back on itself, creating a loop that occasionally pinches off and releases eddies, Agulhas rings, into the South Atlantic, they say. So these guys use satellite images of the South Atlantic Ocean from between November 2006 and February 2007 to look for vortices using a set of simple computation steps that spots black holes and logs. In a three-month period, they found eight candidates, two of which turned out to be black hole analogous containing photon spheres. Quote, we have found exceptionally coherent material belts in the Atlantic, South Atlantic filled with ana analogs of photon spheres around black holes, end quote. That's what they concluded. That's an interesting result that could sig have significant implications for our understanding of the way ocean currents transport material. Since anything that gets into these black holes cannot get out, this should trap any garbage, oil, or indeed water itself, moving it coher coherently over vast distances. Quote, Beyond the mathematical equivalence, there are also observational reasons for viewing coherence eddies and black holes, end quote. That's what Haller and Bora, Boron Vera said. Their work also raises possibility that black hole analogies will occur in other situations, such as in hurricanes, and not just on Earth. So by this way of thinking, the great red spot on Jupiter may well be the most famous black hole in the solar system. I'll leave a link below for you for this. This is on Locklip and on Disclosed TV.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.